So today I'll be painting some orchids which I absolutely loved from the minute I saw them because they're such it's such a beautiful flower and I couldn't resist that urge to just paint something that's so beautiful and detailed and colorful so vibrant and I love the light pink shade it has it's absolutely beautiful and so I'll be painting these flowers today with my oil paints which i absolutely prefer for making paintings that are more on the realistic side than abstract because they blend so easily and don't really dry as fast as acrylics or other types of paint From there onwards, I mixed my crimson red and white with to, to get that light pink shade. And just a hint of yellow. You know, when, when mixing colors, what I like to tell other people is that to really get the perfect shade or to make sure you're mixing colors correctly is to look at what you're referencing and those tiny little shades that you see if a yellow pops in your eye when you look at a color you know there's yellow in there It's a lot easier to blend when you have a first layer of paint to work with especially if it's quite thick so I like doing that because like I said it helps um, with the blending of the paint to make when I'm painting more realistic and then from there onwards I used my my tiniest brush or <laughs> what should I say the tiniest brush I have, the the it's a size zero round topped brush, which I absolutely love for when creating detail on my paintings because it's so thin and doesn't really, you know, it's 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 just amazing. It 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 makes those little little line streaks that I want. So this this flower has this. Um, veiny look to it on the petals so that's what I used to get that look and it came out perfect my name is Ipimele Motuetla I'm a 21 year old full time visual artist um, I've been doing art for the past uh, two years and then about a year ago that's when I decided to do it full time and before that I was doing it part time I did try following a, a different career path but that didn't work out so I'm here today doing what I love and I do not have any regrets about that my biggest inspiration has to be my mother a father figure and 
honestly it was never easy seeing a woman break her back trying to put food on the table provide me with a good education and make sure i never went to bed on an empty stomach and that really inspired me and made me realize what women are capable of doing i don't want to commit to one style so i'm always experimenting different styles but um my main focus is oil paint which i usually use when creating my more realistic artworks and then acrylic paint for my, my more abstract artworks and then i do do i do art where i look around my surroundings this is usually when i'm tired and fed up with paint i look around me look for something to recycle and turn into art so I've recently used CDs, compact discs, and um, African printed plots. Um, compact discs mainly because uh, I have so much love for music and it is usually, I, I can paint without it. I can, but I don't think my paintings turn out the same without listening to music because it really aids in me allowing myself to become vulnerable enough to express myself with just um, simple paint and a brush dipped in that paint on a canvas so I use the CDs to just express my love for that and then the African printed cloths is just to show my love for my roots I'm African and proud of that so